Can we get a comment from the shooter? Yeah. <laughs> She's laughing at me. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Svara Russia. Today, we're going to do a short video on this scope here from CV Life. It's called the uh, Eagle Feather. I've been testing it out. Mrs. Survivor Russia is holding it in her very hands because it's too heavy for me. <laughs> <laughs> it would be pretty good for like an entry level scope. It would also be good for just a backpacking scope or something. It performs really, really well. I'm gonna show you and tell you all about it, but uh, there'll be links in the description, of course. So steady viewers know that here on my channel, I don't do any BS reviews. If something doesn't work or something like that, I don't show it. This scope performs really, really nicely. So here we have the zeroing process. That was really, really nice because I had to correct 190 millimeters of uh, elevation and 190 millimeters of windage. I had to do some math there because uh, this of course as I say in the uh, inches so one click on 50 yards is a quarter inch and that is 6.35 millimeters so I divided that with 190 millimeters that was 29.9 clicks so I adjusted it 29.9 clicks down and to the left and then I had my second impact here a little bit to the left you can say then I uh, put it one click back to the right and this was my third shot and the scope was zeroed over here we can see Mr. Savary Russia I'll show you in the footage here Safety up. She took one shot. It's almost identical to my second shot and third shot. I mean, she's not an experienced shooter, so uh, you know what is what can happen. This is me at a hundred yards. I'm aiming right here. It went a little bit to the left, so maybe we can adjust it a little bit more. One click more to the right in actual, for actually to have it uh, zeroed in 100%. This was a flyer, that's most likely me. Maybe the ammo, but anyway, I weighed all the ammo, so, so the rounds, they uh, weighed the same. That's the best I can do, or the best we can do when uh, we're trying to get accuracy. That's the best we can do besides, anyway, uh, loading it up ourselves, right? All right, guys, so let's go over the scope real fast. This is a cantilever mount for Picatinny rail. Is everything is to talk down with the Torx? It's a Torx 15, both for the four bolts on the rail and the eight bolts on the rings there. The tube is a one piece airplane grade or aviation grade aluminium, aluminum, whatever we prefer to call it. 30 millimeters, pretty standard stuff. We have the pro lever up here, as you can see. It goes from uh, 3 o'clock to about 9 o'clock. This little lever here we can uh, unscrew if we do not want it. We still have a little bit of a bump there to, uh, to work with, to turn it with. But uh, for me, this is fine. Here we have the switch tumbler for the radical. It's both in green and uh, red. The green one was really, really good for me in the, in the low light. And here we have the turret, of course, for elevation. What is nice about this is that this says up. That means that if we want our impact to rise, then we go up. Some scopes, they are the other way around. That means that we get the elevation down. This is a little bit confusing. But anyway, this is not confusing. This is pretty nice. And uh, I hope you can see we have a little indicator here. It means that whenever we have zeroed our scope, we can unscrew this guy here and we can zero the dial itself just like it's supposed to be. The eye relief here is according to the manual 9.6 inches or something like 100 millimeters. So of course we have our end caps, our we say protective caps here and we have the eye relief here works pretty nicely. 
The ammo we are using is not standard AK ammo. This is a 9.3 times 39. This is basically a civilian variant of the of the what is called on the VSS um, uh, suppressed sniper rifles. This is a very heavy bullet. It's uh, 230 grains. The Scopia is rated for 500 rounds with 800 Gs of impact. And uh, I don't think we're gonna see that on the 5.56 or regular AK or even with this type of ammo here. And as I said, it, it holds zero after being uh, removed. And we can, open the, we can open the dust cover here, get access to our recoil spring and, uh, and uh, bolt in here because it's not that long. And that's of course great when we are using uh, AK dust cover mounts, Picatinny rails. So let's uh, squeeze off two rounds. We'll see how it works if we uh, put it one click, quarter inch to the right. So click, one click to the right. Let's see if the impact changes. It definitely should. Let's squeeze off two rounds. See if Mrs. Savara Russia she can uh, repeat what she did yesterday. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That was so loud. Mrs. Savara Russia, second time. Mrs. Savara Russia, first time. So we moved it a little bit over. Uh, that is me. I obviously have a tendency to shoot left a little bit. But we are not using bench rest or anything like that, so uh, you see we made it, we, we actually managed to push it over to the right a little bit. Adjustments work just like they are supposed to do. We actually managed to push it these uh, 6.35 millimeters to the right on uh, 50 yards, which is something like 46 point something something and a banana size to the right. <laughs> As we just discussed on camera, how do you guys live with this? Yeah. I mean, I had to adjust, as I said, 190 millimeters. And I had to stand with my phone and calculate 190 divided by 6.35. And uh, the scope is nice. Definitely worth a backpack uh, scope or entry level scope to see if it's something for you. I mean, uh, Mr. Savara Russia is not the most trained shooter in the world. And what do you think about it? No, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. I've said it before and I just confirm. It's uh, actually, I think I'll uh, get a few thousand uh, bullets now <laughs> and then uh, train some more. It's really cool. It's very comfy and uh, you don't need to nerd too much and stuff like that. We also have a red dot from CV Live, but that's we're going to take a look at in another video. We can take a fast look at the, at the box here. We have these uh, pads in either end. It was actually wrapped in some uh, foam material as well. And in this uh, plastic bag here with a silicate uh, abs uh, moisture absorber. Then we get two batteries. It only takes one lithium CR2032. But we get a spare battery with it, which is nice. Then we have this uh, set of uh, spare screws. And a little bit uh, of a tool here, but uh, I prefer to use my, use my own tool, of course. And uh, here we have uh, instructions in uh, flawlessly English language. I have my own adjustments here for, for yards. 50 yards is 45.72 and a quarter inch is 6.35, blah, blah, blah. But everything is easy to understand, easy to work, and the scope works. Awesomely. So that was the Eagle Feather scope from CV Life, and uh, to me it reminds me a lot about uh, Vortex scope actually. I wouldn't be surprised if they just copied that. As you can see, it works fine. Long term, I cannot say, of course, because I just used it a few times, but everything works as it's supposed to be. So, guys, please check the links in the description and uh, please check out CV Life. And until next time, get out of the train, get it done, do something awesome, and uh, see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Get out and train and get it done. <laughs>